When Lara Croft is getting destroyed by woke activists, by Ryan Lakendall, when is this? When is this ending, guys? Over the past several years, across nearly every form of entertainment, when what they are they going to do to Lara Croft? Are they going to take her tits away? Oh my God, they did! Wait a minute, they did. That's not fair to her. In movies and television, whether you're talking about comic books or whether you're talking about video games, it seems like there's a common theme. Taking something, a franchise, an IP that has... An okay, IP you want to know what's hilarious, though? I find this... Am I the only one who notices this, guys? Is they always take away the tits, but they don't do anything to the dudes. You know what I mean? They don't do anything to them. It's only the women. They like, let's take the women, take away everything that makes them super hot. Let's take it all away. But then, like, for the men, let's just keep them super hot. Iconic character, iconic stories that people care about, that they love. And instead of giving fans what they want, instead saying, you know what, this is just so problematic. We have to change it. We have to do better. But we don't want to create something new. We still want to piggyback off that very same name. And the Tomb Raider franchise is no different. It certainly had its ups and downs over the past several decades. But Lara Croft has been in the news recently after kind of a crazy poll went viral, a BAFTA poll, a British film and television, you know, award show that essentially did a very small poll with, that Lara Croft ended up winning as the most iconic video game character in history. That's kind of a joke along with several other people that made the list, but it's a small poll. It's a stupid thing. However, there's a much different Tomb Raider story that's out there today, and it's because <sighs> what Crystal Dynamics is attempting to do with this character in the future. This post is getting a lot of attention right now. Tomb Raider tweet, British adventure oh, Lara here Croft we go. will train transition no pun intended from being a raider is that a gender she's transitioned she <laughs> what she's a seeker of... what, are, what are the pronouns what are the pronouns for a seeker of truth of tombs to a seeker of truth as evil hat productions in crystal dynamics seek to redefine the tomb raider series in order to escape its colonial past and we have already seen this happen to the tomb raider friend do these guys only have the one one joke? What joke? What joke? Franchise over the past several iterations, it has had a much different feel in terms of Lara Croft actually going in raiding tombs and bringing them back to our house. To well, we oh, apparently okay, okay. Josh Josh from chat says apparently they're taking away tomb raiding from Tomb Raider because tomb raiding is a colonizer behavior. But isn't tomb raiding like a thing like like forever like since like the freaking Bible like the ancient era like didn't people do that during that era too like I'm confused like what what are they talking about Britain literally Colonized did that though semi right they did what what did what did what did they do remember they raided when Lara tombs? shot dinosaurs really colonist her far her. They stole all the history from people. What, well, like all the all the stuff and they put it into a museum? JD says, I've seen this in D&D &D discourse. Uh, by the way, Acacia Winters, thank you so much for the sub, by the way. Thank you for, thank you for a year. Thank you. Colonized these nuts. Uh, let's, let's see. Uh, JD says, I have seen this in D&D discourse. The idea is that raiding dungeons goes back to British people robbing Egyptian tombs. Yeah. I mean, I can, I can see that. I can see that. Uh, too many is going on for a very so for very long in Egypt, and literally, yeah, I feel like yeah, that happened a lot uh, everywhere, right? I, I, I don't think, I, I don't think it's a uniquely. I'd imagine that people raided ancient ruins in every civilization. I don't think that's a uniquely, a uniquely. Uh, I think I it's just it a people thing. When people say, "Oh." They stole treasures. I mean, like for, the locals wouldn't destroy or sell them the nanosecond they like, knew they. Like what I'm saying is like, isn't that just a thing that just fulfills like a, a human desire to like loot shit? You know what I mean? Like, isn't that why we like looter shooters? It's like fun. Like you go in there and like you just like take random shit. It's like great. You know? I, I mean, the Egyptians in Egypt. I mean, I'm sure they did. 
I'm sure there were people like there that also that also rated them as well, right? I mean, they're closer. It's, I saw a story about merchants in Europe looting battlefields for bones to make fertilizer. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was a thing. Like, looting battlefields was a thing, and it, it actually was uh, was actually a part of... Um, it, it, it was it was what mercenaries did like you would join a war even though like you don't really care you're not really a soldier you would join the war just so you can loot the battlefield after you know like they, they let you basic basically if you were if you if you join them as a as a merc mercenary you could just loot the battlefield after and that was like kind of that was kind of what you did and you sold the shit you know what i mean pillaging was done by almost yeah everyone did it you know, King Tut's tomb was such a big deal because it was like the only one that didn't get robbed. Oh, I see. I mean, I mean, yeah. I I don't know what the right answer is in terms of like like where they per. I mean, they're they they clearly are preserving history. Like uh, like what's the alternative? Like it gets looted and then lost, right? It's 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 gonna get looted eventually, right? A at some point, it's gonna get looted. So it's like they're gonna put it in the museum. Is that be I, mean, I think that's probably better. You know. You have to preserve this and preserve that. It's been like that for a while. Apparently, that is not enough, and they need to go Devil's even advocate. further. If a Chinese dude dug up George Washington's grave and put his skull in a Shanghai museum, I would be a little upset. Uh, Grant Lawrence, it, 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 I, I, I guess that's true. I guess that's true. I mean, it's hard to say. Like, what, what has they have they said anything about it? Like, what's the um? Actually, the I, actually, I don't. Of getting the problem. For what oh, they sorry. The problem is, I actually don't know enough about this in terms of like, I, I don't, I don't know what the politics are of of Egypt, and like how mad they are about it. I actually don't know. You know what I mean? And again, like you, you have to understand that we live. And this is something that like pe people just don't get for some reason. We live in a time now where that stuff has become more unacceptable. You know what I mean? Like back in the day, it this is just a thing people did. This is a thing countries did. They they ransacked each other for their land. They they just conquested each other, and that was like okay back in the day. That's what everyone did. It, it's the same same thing with slavery, right? And then now, like we're kind of to a point where we're like. We have the luxury of saying, like, we're not going to do that shit anymore. And you're going to cut it out or we're going to fuck you up. You know what I mean? Like, we, 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 have, we have a world now where we have a, a baseline of ethics that we can impose on others. Right? And that's not to say that everyone is at that level of... Um, uh, not, not everyone is at that level of... Uh, agreement on whether or not certain things should be done i'm pretty sure there's a bunch of countries out there that are probably 100 percent okay with with slavery in fact there are there are countries that still have slavery to this day there are countries to this day that uh that have people in concentration camps camps for instance right and we just don't talk about it but it's very obvious that like um not everyone has the same level of morals right and uh, we just, we are lucky enough and blessed enough that we could sort of impose that on other people, right? Like, we can tell people, like, you know, we're not doing that anymore. Um, I mean, there's still countries, again, there's still countries trying to take land from each other right now. I mean, what do, what do you think is happening right now? Right? <laughs> like, what do you think is happening right now in the world? Uh, let's see, context. Uh, oh, my God. This is... uh. This is Netflix. I don't want to click on that, Charles. Uh, I don't know if I want to click on that just because, uh, you know, they might get very angry. They get kind of mad. It's not a trailer either, right? This is like an actual, yeah. Child, child labor is still involved in all, all, all kinds of things people buy all the time. Yeah, for sure. I've already seen this happen to the and, and it's like people don't really like it, it's it's not that people don't don't care it's that people don't care like to a level that they, they would they would stop buying it you know because it's too inconvenient right like if you wanted you could buy like ethical everything right you could you could spend the extra money to buy like you know ethical ethical food ethical clothing ethical whatever but it's just too expensive so a lot of people are just kind of like fuck it you know it's getting a lot of attention right now tomb raider tweet british adventure lara croft will transition no pun intended 
from being a raider of tombs to a seeker of truth. As Evil Hat Productions and Crystal Dynamics seek to redefine the Tomb Raider series in order to escape its colonial past. And we have already seen this happen to the Tomb Raider franchise over the past several Man, I'm, iterations. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm so tired of this colonial shit. Dude, like everybody did that to each other. Listen, this is this is the same. And how canceled do I want to get rid of? Okay, listen. Listen, guys. Everyone did all of this shit to each other. Since the dawn of time, people enslaved each other. People stole each other's land. Over and over again throughout history. It, it Literally, it, it's always happened. This this colonial shit. This has always. This has all. What the hell do you think the Romans did? What do you think? What do you think the, the What do you think that was about? You think you think? But Europeans did it the best and most recently. Yeah, they they're the most. They, yeah, they did it. They 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 won. They won Civ. Yeah, I mean they they tech they tech the ships and guns before everyone else. You know, they went up the tech tree real quick. Uh, you, you know, <laughs> so it's like, it's, it's, I mean, it's the same, dude, this is the same thing with the whole, the whole thing with, oh my God. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I don't care anymore. Uh, it, it's the same thing with like the whole, the whole, uh, the whole native land of the, you know, different native tribe peoples in America. They did the same thing to each other. They fucked each other up for land too. And then they just they just lost in the end because 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 you know the Europeans came and they had fucking guns. And they just said like they just said okay now it's our turn we're taking the land now and they're like uh no the, the, we we took this land fair and square it's like ah yeah, we got guns though. You know what I mean like it, 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 it's it's and like we we just pretend like this never happened. And like it, it just it just it, it it drives me up a wall. G gun beats axe and fire emblem triangle. That's true. That's true. The Chinese had gunpowder first, and they had Disney show with it. That's not true. They made um, that's not true. They they made fireworks. They're like really pretty. They like shoot up to the sky and they make little flowers, and it's really nice to look at. Uh, also, uh, also the Koreans. They weapon they weaponized the fireworks. They made like a little they made like old school rocket launchers, like old school Sam's Sam's. I don't know if you've ever seen that. I think how was it called? A Hoacha or something like that? Hoacha? They, dude, they put a bunch of arrows with rockets on them, like little firework rockets on them, and they just shot into the sky and they had like they had like a hundred of them lined up. And then and then when Japan attacked, they would just shoot those off. And then you just have like thousands of arrows like like raining down from the sky. Yeah, dude, dude, it, it, dude, it fucked up. It fucked Japan up hard. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Uh, and then moral discourse is that it's not even looting for museums is uh, problematic. So Lara Croft can be an archaeologist, but she can't loot any artifacts anymore. I mean, the thing is, is like, is that even not? I mean. I, like I, I, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I, am, am I crazy for thinking that it's probably preferable? Like, like, am I crazy for thinking that? Like, like, isn't it preferable for like somebody to like loot a thing and then put it in a museum rather than it's it, it gets looted by some rando that doesn't? You know what I mean? Like, like I don't know. I'm like leaning towards it's probably good. That like we have a lot of that stuff intact now because of pe because people did did um did raid those things you know I mean it's still stealing it's their stuff I mean whose stuff like the ancient the like they're not around anymore you know like I, I don't know yeah you, you know what that is something that like I I think I could get behind those sabers like maybe like it goes to the the home the maybe it goes to the home country maybe there's some kind of you know, hey, we'll, we'll excavate this stuff, but then, like, you know, you... Wait, 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 how did... So, so, wait, wait. Who was in... Hold on, I need to know this. Who was in charge of the pyramid? I, actually, again, I don't know that much about the whole, um... Uh, I, I guess, what what is this age called? The age of exploration? I actually don't know much about it. 
Like, did they... Like, how did they... Did they just, like, go to the pyramids and there was, like, nobody there? Like, I'm confused. Like, how did this happen? Did they, did, did they colonize Egypt? Is that what happened? They, like, took over Egypt and then, like, now they own Egypt. So now they, like, ransack the thing. Is that how it worked? Aliens. Okay, I mean, that makes sense. Well, probably whoever controlled Giza. Yeah, but who did? That's what I mean. That's my question. It's like, are you telling me, like, did they just walk up to the pyramids and just ransack it? Like, that's what I mean. Like, the, like okay, the, the, the uh, you know, the archaeologists that got the artifacts did, uh, this is, that's what I mean, I need to watch a documentary on this. Did they, did they ransack the pyramids? Like, they just, like, walked up to it and they just ransacked it? It's been the massive sea for literally thousands of years. Yeah, but like, so, so how did random people from a foreign country go to the pyramids and ransack it in front of everybody? Like, how did that happen? They just let them? They just, they just said, yeah, we're just going to walk up. Cause like, clear, like, like, obviously it wasn't like something that you could just do real fast. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I have to look into it more. It has had a much different feel in terms of Lara Croft actually going in, raiding tombs and bringing them back to our house to, well, we have to preserve this and preserve that. It's been like that for a while. Apparently that is not enough and they need to go even further. And this is in the aftermath already of getting hammered for what they did when they released the remastered collections. Crystal Dynamics sparks controversy over Tomb Raider 1 through 3 remastered trigger warning. Wait, trigger they warning? Basically admitted that it's just this games really in this and disgusting. Wait, some wait, of the wait, what? That happen in these Hold up. Games. Hold up. What? The games in this collection contain offensive depictions of people and cultures rooted in racial and ethnic prejudices. These stereotypes are deeply harmful, inexcusable, and do not align with our values at Crystal. Wait, what? Are, what? What? Are, what? Okay, guys, I'm gonna be real with you. I only played the first Tomb Raider, and I didn't even play it that much. So, like, what did she do? What? 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 Like, what's going on? Like, what did they do? What did they do? Uh, rather than removing this content, we've chosen to present it here in this original form, unaltered, in the hopes that we may acknowledge its harmful impact and learn from it. Uh, I mean, I mean, this seems like a little strong, like the way they like worded this, but like, I, I, I think, I mean, they they kept it in. That's a good thing, you know. Um, I, I mean, maybe they could have like just said. I, I mean, uh, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I actually don't have a problem with like them disclosing like this may upset people i actually don't care about that i think that's probably fine um because you know there are people that might not be able to handle it so it's 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 whatever if they want to add that i don't care um monuments got defaced in the middle east quite recently by religious extremists it gets stored in the museum yeah it, it's it's hard to say you know i you know what i might I, i'm gonna put this on my list of something to look into because I actually really like history, but I don't know anything. This is like one era, one of the areas I, I know literally nothing about. Booyaka. Yo, Zone, Zone Trigger, thank you so much for the sub. Thank you. Thank you for 15 months. Thank you. A trigger warning before them. Just fucking pathetic. The games in this collection contain offensive depictions of people and cultures rooted in racial and ethnic prejudices. These stereotypes are deeply harmful. That's what I mean. It's a little strong. Like the way they said it is a little... A little much. They could have just said like, like the games in this collection might 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 contain things that people might deem offensive, uh, rather than removing this con. See, see, like that that would have been. I think people would have probably, for the most part, been fine with that. The games in this collection contain offensive depiction depiction uh, uh can contain uh content that people might find offensive. Rather than removing this content, we have pros we have chosen to present it here in its original form unaltered. Like I, I think like that's fair, honestly. Like, I, I don't see any problem with that, personally. I, I know a lot of people get really touchy about that kind of thing. Like, oh, they put a trigger warning on it. I don't really care. Inexcusable and do not align with our Yeah, values. exactly what Shreppy said. It's worded in a way that's intentionally vilifying. The exactly. Dynamics. Well, you know what? If that's the case, then why try to make money off of them? Why try to profit yeah, off them? Yeah, I agree. Them? If this entire thing, if the history is so yeah, why? rooted in... Yeah, yeah, why? If, 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 if they really think that, then why are they working on it? You know what I mean? Like that seems a little that seems a little not honest to me. 
racism and bigotry and prejudice. Why do you continue to use the Tomb Raider name to fucking make money? Uh, you, you want you, you want to have your cake and eat it too. You want to say, we know these things are so bad, but by the way, buy this, please. It's pathetic. But it looks like in these future iterations, they are going to continue to try to change the character entirely. And the question remains, if you really feel so strongly about this, then why do you continue to use this character? Well, it's because... Yeah, yeah. If you have a problem with it, then just make your own damn Tomb Raider game. You know what I mean? Like, make your own, like, Tomb raider light game. It's, like, very, very obviously they're trying to... They're trying to capitalize off of the name and the brand, but then they don't actually like... The, they don't actually like... It's so weird to me. Like, if you don't like the brand, then why are you fucking making something for it? You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Like, ma make your own game that has... Yeah, called Gra Grave Robber. Yeah, or something. Tomb Observer. Exactly. Make your own one. Like, why you gotta... And I think this is the problem. And why a lot of people are getting pissed off about it. Like, a lot of gamers and just a lot of uh, fans in general of content get so pissed. Because it's like you're taking something that you already don't like. And then you're trying to profit over it by completely fucking up what it originally was. It's like if you hate it so much, you just make something else. Why even try to make money off of it? I mean, we know the answer. We all know the answer. Why? Because they want the sweet bucks, right? They want the sweet money. The guys, these guys are literally whores. If you th they're literally whores if you think about it. Bunch of hookered whores. Because they can't make anything of their own. They have to piggyback off things that people already care about. Tomb Raider series to escape its colonial past. British adventurer Lara Croft will transition from being a raider of tombs to a seeker of truth as Evil Hat Productions and Crystal Dynamics seeks to redefine the Tomb Raider series in order to escape a history wounded by colonialism, according to an excerpt from the official Tomb Raider Shadows of Truth RPG rule book. And I do have that right here. We can look at it. Crystal Dynamics makes statement against Tomb Raider. Oh, jeez. Fuck. Let's just read this, shall we? What, then, is raiding? And how does it mirror colonial practices? Raiding, Ugh. as depicted in the original Tomb Raider games and stories, involve going into ancient tombs and historical sites of different civilizations and acquiring artifacts. It operates on the assumption of finders keepers. That yeah, that's finders keepers was the law forever. Again, only recently did we actually like have the power to say, okay, you know what? Let's not do that anymore. Let's all agree to not do that anymore. And it's not even all of us agreeing. It's literally just because we have the we have the power. We have nukes. So we can just be like, hey, you know, we're going to knock that shit off. Right? Because if you don't knock that shit off, you know, maybe maybe a little proxy war, you know? I, I... Grants raiders with a means and drive to claim ownership of artifacts, regardless you know, maybe of... Maybe a little, maybe a little coup? If you don't, uh, you know, if you don't listen to us, maybe a little, maybe a little coup? whether they have any historical or cultural... If we didn't have that power, then, dude, they'd fucking do it. You think, you think I'll... I mean, I mean, I mean guys, literally, literally, Russia just did this. They literally just did it, like, just now. Claim to the treasure. Later games released have started the work of addressing this by having Lara acknowledge her past mistakes and try to understand and show respect for the cultures and communities she comes into contact with. She's also worked to reform Raider culture and raise awareness of her peers. Oh. Laura no longer decorates her mantle with mythic artifacts. As a Raider, she prioritizes seeking she, out- Will she put fucking waifu posters up? Like, <laughs> waifu figures. Of the truth. Much of this game is inspired by her humanity, struggle with heroism, and her tenacity. We believe all three aspects are an important component- God, this is so cringe. History and culture- why acknowledging the respect and work required to live in a world wounded by... Holy fuck, dude. This is so... Uh, this is... This is brain damage. Colonialism in this game. We see to continue in that work alongside Crystal Dynamics by creating a sandbox for you to tell stories that address colonialist themes in play and create your own stories of respect and support for the people and cultures your seekers Dude, encounter. I swear, I swear people are just like, dude, they hear the word colonialism and they just, dude, it sets them off, dude. It sets people off really fucking hard. Holy crap. 
Now, this is from an RPG rulebook, uh, Tomb Raider Shadows of Truth, so that's why it's described like that. But this is exactly how it's going to come into play for the rest of the history of the character, as long as these people have control over it. It's the same thing we see time after time after fucking time. They want to use these iconic characters. They want to use the brand recognition. They want to use the built-in fan base. But they want to inherently change. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's like they... they, they they take something that like people really like and they 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 want your money like you're a fan they want your money but also fuck you that's kind of like what they're doing and that's why people get so pissed because you're 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 taking something that people really like and you're you know you you have no part in it you don't even like it yet you're like trying to sell you you're trying to like morph something into something unrecognizable from what it was yeah, they fucking hate you, honestly, these people. What this character is. We've seen that play out. India still celebrates its time as a British colony as one of the most prosperous periods of its history. Uh, you want to know another place that was uh, actually recently decolonized and uh, it's now fucked up? Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of places, actually. There's a lot of places. I bet you the people in... Uh, I, I bet you the people in Hong Kong, you know, I bet you... They're kind of regretting it right now. I'm just saying. They're probably like, ah, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe we could have made that deal a little longer. Over the course of the last several entries in the Tomb Raider franchise, and it looks like it's only going to continue. It, it, to dude, get dude, it, it's not always a bad thing. You know what I mean? It's, it's not, it's not, it, it, it wasn't always like a full negative. You know what I mean? And, you know, I don't know, man. I, I don't. I'm digging my grave at this point. But like, worse. There's a reason that this thing is getting destroyed right now. And again, they're just reporting on it, by the way. Uh, but look, 76 likes to 800 fucking comments. People are continuing to wake up and have the realization this is happening across all aspects of entertainment. We've been talking about in gaming, the woke, insane people that are now in charge of gaming. And they want to use an IP like Tomb Raider and a character like Lara Croft to advance their fucking agenda. We see it time and time again. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash a like button. Subscribe to the channel. Maybe Leave certain people shouldn't be allowed autonomy to press on. I mean, like, they could have had a choice. They wanted to stay. I mean, they, they didn't they didn't even get that. I, I mean, the thing is, it's trying. I would never have allowed it. So, about for notifications. Share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's 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 the reason why people get so mad because.